I've reported on the fact that I think that Tesla is already manufacturing Model Y vehicles at production level at Gigafactory Berlin. I made a video about that recently. I'll put a link in the description below to that video. But here is some more evidence proving that I could actually be right about this. Tesla Model Y performance vehicles were spotted leaving Gigafactory Berlin, quite a few of them on a truck. And enough to make you wonder what exactly is going on at Gigafactory Berlin. Hello, my friends, and welcome to The Electric Viking. Fantastic to have you here on the channel over the last year. Welcome to the new subscribers. Welcome back to everyone else. Hope you had an amazing 2021. And hey, it's just hit 2022. Hope you have an awesome year this year. So what's going on? Well, like I said, I do think Tesla is manufacturing Tesla Model Y vehicles and potentially maybe ignoring the German government on them saying, yeah, you can't officially do this yet, but I think it's happening. Now, Joey Klender from Teslarati has reported that the Tesla Model Y performance variants were spotted on vehicle haulers in Germany, leaving the soon to be approved production facility. The automaker plans to open near Berlin in early 2022. Now, images of the Model Y performance configuration were spotted by Steve and Julian Igemp on Facebook and shared by user Tesla Ardry on Twitter. The photographs show Model Y performance vehicles on haulers likely being transported to a nearby facility for crash testing, emissions assessments, and range rating research as the vehicle will eventually be produced at the plant and delivered to customers. Well, clearly these are being produced at the plant right now. That's what it looks like to me. Otherwise, why is this semi-trailer hauling them away from the plant? Why is it not just taking them off a ship and then driving them to their destination? It doesn't make sense that if they're being produced somewhere else, say China or the United States, that they aren't being driven from the docks. Well, they're clearly not. They're being driven away from the factory. So clearly these vehicles were made in the factory in Berlin. Now, you can actually recognize the performance trim in several ways, although it is very subtle, which is one of the things I quite like about it personally. One of those red brake calipers or a red line under the dual motor badge located on the vehicle's trunk. The Model Y is Tesla's most recently released vehicle, being delivered for the first time in March 2020. And since then, the vehicle has become Tesla's best seller, overtaking the Model 3 sedan, which makes sense considering people don't really like sedans and they like crossovers or what would you call it? Sort of a quasi SUV. Now the Model Y has taken priority at Tesla's first European production facility and it will be produced there initially with other vehicles to follow after the all electric crossover has been fully ramped at this plant. Prior to the Model 3 performance being built at Tesla's Gigafactory Shanghai plant in China, images of that vehicle were also spotted being transported to an unknown location on vehicle haulers. Now I should point out, what do I think about the Tesla Model Y? What's going to happen in Europe in 2022? Well, I think it'll take Tesla a little while to ramp up production to full scale. But over the final six months of 2022, I think it's safe to say the Tesla Model Y will be the most popular electric vehicle in Europe in terms of sales figures. There just won't be another manufacturer making enough electric vehicles to compete with the scale on a production level that Tesla will be able to deliver. Now, Gigafactory Berlin was expected to begin production at the end of 2021. I made a video about speculation of why maybe this has been uh, stopped by different groups that have maybe potentially some vested interest. I'll put a link in the description below to that video. Now, various bottlenecks in regulatory processes have pushed Tesla's initial production of Giga Berlin to early 2022, which is not that bad when you think about it. It did take 19 years to open an airport in Germany. 19 years. Tesla has sparred regularly with local environmental groups who have raised concerns over groundwater, water, and other potentially hazardous elements like a storage tank at the site. Now remember, there is a local mine not far away that mines coal, basically destroys the environment, and is using 141 times more water, 141 times more water than Tesla's Gigafactory Berlin plant. And a lot of that water it uses is illegal. It gets fined 
goes to court constantly for illegally using more water than it's allowed to. So, is the real reason this factory is being held up from being approved water use, or is it something else? It's worth asking the question. Now, recent holdups have reportedly been related to a hearing about water pumping at a nearby U facility. As the Eggersdorf Waterworks facility approved increased water pumping rates for the facility without necessary testing, apparently. The administrative court in Frankfurt confirmed that the hearing was supposed to take place on December the 6th. However, it was postponed and has still not taken place. As a result, various sources close to the matter expected the factory to not begin production by the end of 2021. It now seems that with less than two days left in the year, it now seems that Tesla will officially start production in early 2022. But I think from these images, you can see production is already happening. But I think just at a smaller scale than what it will be potentially over the next few months. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Do you think the factory will open soon? Or will it take 19 years like it took the airport? Let's hope not. Thanks for watching the channel and I'll see you again on the next one. Bye-bye.